blast from the Legends League Cup runners. Let's go swiftly to Paul O'Neill and Richard John Neill. Thanks very much, Steve. I'm not sure we're going to have time. We're going to give you the first few rows anyway before they get to start. Remember the drivers that haven't done so well starting at the front, Lenny Woodcock and Jane Ajar. Harry Marcel and Ben Mahoney. Row two, row three, Paul Marcel and James Newbury. Chris Dewey and Steve Whitelick next mm -hmm. up from Stephen Trahan and Nick Price. Daniel Pooley and Nathan Anthony on row six. Seventh row, Mark Beattie and Eric Bolton, Nick Bridgman and Matt Knight on row eight, followed by Jamie Moylan and Peter Barrable. Then we've got Tyler Reid and Andy Bird, Luke Simmons and Ollie Schlupp next up from getting into the top scorers now, Jack Parker and Connor Mills. Will Gibson, second in the points on the day so far, Robert Barrable, the top points scorer on the day. Is he going to win the round, which is the most points for all three races, or is he going to win the final race three? Let's see, but well done on getting that grid out. That was brilliant, Richard John Hill. Uh, tech team take all the credit for getting the graphics up as quickly, really. And uh, here we go then. So it is Lenny Woodcock in the slightly darker light blue car. The, the white and light blue is Jay Nijar, both newcomers. So did Jay ever think he was going to start? on the front rank at Brands Hatch. You know, it's for the wrong reason, but he's going to build his experience here from the start. Harry Marcel having a look in the green Gigabox car. He's up into P2 momentarily. And James Newbury going high and wide around the outside. Newbury's got the lead. James Newbury leads at Brands Hatch as they go up towards Druids. Danny Woodcock in second position. Harry Marcel is third. His dad is behind him. Ben Mahoney going around the outside. We've got a spinner. In the mix there, that is uh, uh, not Chris Dewey, 20. Chris Dewey's off there in the yellow car with Jane Nijai started off the front row. Now, let's hope we don't get safety car, but James Newbury, who's got a touch of the man flu today, Paul, made a super start. That's going to be a safety car. Definitely a safety car, that. They're, they're all in oh! oh! Harry Marcel goes sideways and round. His dad's at the other end of the track, stricken. So, uh, bad news for them. Eric Bolton scored well in the 62 car. So the 28 gets going again. So young Harry will oh. fire it up. Oh, that was people breaking, wasn't it? They, yep. they were just caught out by the safety car and, and the yellow flags. Oh, wow. That could have been a big accident there. Fair play to the drivers for getting that out. Do you know what? James Newbury is going to take that little clip of me going, James Newbury oh. leading a Brands Hatch. That's what the, it's about. Look at the replay. The, Fantastic movie. Go on. The wiggle on that he gets. Look at him. He's just in the right hand, uh, right hand side of your screen now. He passes five, six cars. Gets around the outside. I'm thinking, nah, mate. Watch the wiggle on now as he comes down the hill. Oh, you can't see it from that angle, but the car just completely loses uh, rear grip, then he throttles it back up, these cars being rear-wheel drive, uh, and then he's in the lead, by oh. and then it just bunches up, a lot of cars involved in that. A lot of yeah. people just trying to get out of the way, actually. So what's going on here, Richard? Someone was on the grass, weren't they? Chris Dewey in yellow is on the grass. Did Comes back on. Did Dewey? OK, goes so, across. Yeah. so Dewey does cause one a bit further on. Matt Knight involved as well. And now we go on board with Jamie Moylan. So Moylan will give us a bit more of an idea because I think it was a roundabout in, in the grid here, wasn't it? But you can hear them. Let's listen for the revs up. That's green, green, green. So they're all going full throttle. Look how scary it is. You've got slower drivers in front of you, people trying to find gaps. And let's have a listen how committed he is on the throttle down here. That's great driving from everybody up to there and then they're going to keep it absolutely pinned. Another couple of cars slowing up real quick. Oh, that's the car that's on the grass just on the right-hand side. Oh, tagged oh, in, didn't he? Tagged yeah. into where Paul Marcel, and it wasn't Paul's fault. No. And then they went across into the others. Is this Harry on our... No, Harry's in third place. Harry Marcel's in third place. Why does Harry Marcel spin out? Because it looked like it was on his own. So he's a bit further up, isn't he? The leader's he's now... He's having a look down the inside, isn't he? Just, just out of view now. Oh, he hits the kerb and spins off himself right in front of us. That car that goes left, that's Harry Mazel. Look how busy this is. All you need to do is not spin and you'll be in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, James Newbury, that was a super move from him and gaining a lot of confidence. Watch this now. This is Jack Parker. Oh, Jack. do you know what? I've got to say... That is brilliant driving from a lot of those people who could see the yellow flags. That was a great effort. So this is the curb bounce. Watch the green car. Goes for the inset. Bounce off the curb. See it? And then it unsettles the car and it goes into a massive spin. That curb at... Um, I've forgotten the corner name now. Surtees, sorry, yeah. That curb at Surtees, you've got to use it in a race car, but he's, he's used too much of it. 
and that's just fired. The car has just run out of damping and bounced the car up in the air. So yeah, that was hard work. That was. It was. James Newbury. He's going to he's going to restart oh, the race. Mate. He's got the safety car. He, and I say he's got man flu. I spoke to him earlier on. He sounded like he. Hello, Richard. How are you? <laughs> Thought, goodness me. I shook hands with him yesterday. And he's got this nasty bug. So I didn't underway. wash my hands afterwards. So <laughs> need, to, need to do that. Same to Jamie Jar out in the number seven Aww. car. And it wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault, but he, he's doing real well. We had an engine replacement earlier on. He runs the uh, Milk and More company. 122 Chris Dewey is there as well. So they'll get, get those machines out of, out of the way yeah. and uh, hopefully have, uh, have a restart. A quick... Go on then. Love your floor a little more. There's a lot of flooring companies I'm involved. Because I'm going to drive in your door. <laughs> 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 no, Richard. There's, there's one on the uh, F4 car, isn't there, as well? Young uh, Dodson, oh, really? Max Dodson's got the oh, car. The car is being wrapped in wooden floor livery for the I've next round completely. I've seen He's got that. the wing, but they're doing the whole thing. The front wing is actually... And yes, we can't I've mention the catchphrase of the company. Oh, I don't know what it is. I'm not saying it on air because you can't say it on air. It's gone, Richie. Without causing... No, no, no. Nobody's watching. No. <laughs> So you can you can find it find out about Harry Dodd. So there is um, Paul Marcel took over from Ollie. Sorry, Mike Schlup, Ollie Schlup's dad. Mm. Very slow, but on safety car. Very slow. I mean, they're not going to need any heat in these treaded tyres, but that is maybe they're just trying to slow it down to I don't know to to maybe get keep the laps in. I mean, that's dangerous. You've got cars stopped on the compression of Paddock Hill Bend, which doesn't matter. They're not going to drive into each other, but. It is in the regulation that you do not come to a full stop on a racetrack. Yeah. Uh, a bit like you're not allowed to use 100% of the width for the track to, to weave. But if you've got to stop, you've got to stop. If these tyres were slick tyres, I mean, they're going to lose pressure and they're going to lose heat. But it's not so critical when it's a, a treaded tyre. But why would they be going that slow? Yeah, I don't know. Scott's, Scott Stringfellow, who's the driver, will probably have uh, had some direction on that. But uh, coming back to the guys at the front, the great thing about a Legends final is that, yeah, the drivers that don't score so well in races one and two start at the front. It gives them a chance to lead a race, maybe for the first time. If they're doing it for the second or third time, maybe gain that confidence of leading, particularly here at, at Brands Hatch. Yeah. But we've got, yeah, James Newbury here doing a super job. Lenny Woodcock is there in P2. We're hearing the slightly disparaging news that we're going red flag, which does indeed show. Now, is that going to be a restart or is that going to be curtains? That's why... That's why the safety car was going that slow. So the safety car would have been told on the radio, slow them up because we've got a big problem with trying to retrieve these two cars. So there would have been radio communication between yeah, yeah. the Scott. safety car, Scott, yeah, um, and also race control. So that is obviously a, a good shout there. Bit of a shame, but great for these guys to have had the opportunity. And do you know what, James Newbury, if this race gets canned, James Newbury is going to be rightfully cheesed off because he was out there in front, earned it, Be beautiful move. Lenny Woodcock, P2, wonderful to see that. Former champion, Stephen Traherne in third place, Daniel Pooley in fourth, Nick Bridgman, he's in fifth place, and then Jack Parker up into sixth. So Jack Parker here potentially, they're not going to call it, are they, with four laps on the no. on the mix? So I'm not going to edge and bets as to who's won the day on points. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's why we needed the red anyway, to get the yeah. rescue vehicle out, get the vehicles away and uh, we'll await news really of whether these cars will restart or not we will see them again though we had them for the first two meetings we'll welcome them back at knock hill when i doubt the weather will be like this at all what, um, are, you to, what are you trying to say just saying it'll be slightly cooler right that's why i'm loved in scotland because <laughs> i'm always nice about scottish weather and where is you're not mate you're gonna get lynched <laughs> 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 hey, I tell you what, shout out to this lad uh, who's on board we've had. I have absolutely loved uh, seeing the onboard footage of this because it has been absolutely brilliant. Apparently, it, it did um, bend Gibson chassis, that contact, a little bit. So my son was telling me. Did I didn't get that from Will, but there oh. was some, yeah. It was a big hit. But, but he wasn't, I said, was Will cross about that? And he said, mm, no, not particularly. It's part and parcel of it. It should maybe have feathered mm. it a little bit more. But, uh, mm. but uh Going, going back to Scotland, Scottish legends I have a chance. They're, it's legends wherever you race them are very popular. It's a very strong Scottish championship. I think full up, 30 cars, drivers waiting to come onto the grid. And of course, many of the drivers who are watching this and go and race there, they'll be national customers in a few mm. years' time. Win-win, you know, they'll come and race on the Elite Cup. Yeah. It's, uh, if it, you're a legend, you're a legend. Absolutely right. A bit like me, Rich. You definitely are. <laughs> you definitely are. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got them so, apart. I wonder if there's going to be a baby legend from that. 
<laughs> There's Jay with the beard, just behind the white T-shirt on, or the white uh, racing undergarments on. It's in the background, he's behind Chris Dewey's car now. Haven't seen Chris for a while, great to see him back. And Jay did a bit of karting with Connor Mills. And uh, spent quite a few years racing on his beers. Go on, what? I love... I love how pe the, 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 the attire some people wear to go racing. I hope that T-shirt is fireproof with that swoosh on the front. That's all, that's, <laughs> that's all I will say. But it actually, is not to be a grass, he ain't going to get any problems with that because it's not a regulation that you need a, a, fire, a fireproof top on underneath. It's just that I would tell anybody who races cars or does general tests, I would make sure that I've got a uh, fireproof uh, top on. We These cars, though, Rich, tell us a bit more about them and the engines. You love a legend. I think they're a fantastic I've car. been lucky enough to have... This is being dubbed as the 30th anniversary season. I'm not sure it's the 30th anniversary, but it's the 30th year. And uh, 1250 Yamaha uh, engines, they're moving over to a three-cylinder next year, which we saw uh, Miles Rubman testing. They had mm -hmm. a different driver out yesterday, um, or first thing this morning in it. There's Dan Pooley. He's come off the short ovals. He preps a car. He's got a high car that, that's available. I think Eric Bolton's not going to be running in the uh, in the other Pooley car. Nick Bridgman, race winner in the championship. He, he's just past 40. Didn't realise he was in the Masters category now, and I think he thought I was rubbing it in yesterday. Gutted. Gutted. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I love about this mm -hmm. championship is that all the drivers, all the teams, everyone involved with legends, they actually love being part of this package. It's like, do. It, it's very, it's nice to see people being proud to be part of the Toker package on, on ITV Sport. Yeah, they're absolutely lovely. There's uh, Luke Simmons, used to race yeah. super stocks on the short overs. Not sure if David Addison did commentary on him. David oh, likes a bit of stock car commentary, doesn't he? He might have commentated on him in the winter. Nice close up. Give us a wave, Luke. <laughs> Nearly. So his team are laughing. His team are laughing there. Did you see in that, in that last shot on his shoulder, on his left shoulder, the driver, um, the driver had and some great camaraderie, on his left hand shoulder, so on the other side, just underneath his helmet, um, there is a radio, so that radio is telling people. You probably get a, a look at. There you go. So just just there, be on the on the right hand side. That is a radio, so it's plugged in uh, with with phone earphones um, to tell the drivers if there's a, a you know when they're going green, what the checkered flag, and that radio communication is vital at uh, at this level of racing. The other thing, Spike, was taking a break every now and again. We're going to do that, and we'll be back with a restart for you in a few minutes time as we continue to watch Luke Simmons. Please stay with us and uh, we'll have the, the restart for you in just a few moments time. Welcome back. We are down the hatch, Brands Hatch, and it's the last Legends race of the weekend. They've been had a very busy time. This is their sixth race of the weekend, the third and final race of round four, their fourth race day of the year. Race stoppage due to clearance of debris and cars hooked together at Druids, the hairpin, and the cars are waiting. I think we've had the minute board, so the counting is underway for the restart. James Newbury is on pole position, the replica of the... He calls it Two Mater, based on the Disney film that you see. We've also got Lightning McReed a little bit later on. But James started all this and raised his money for MNDA. And this is the reason why, Paul. All oh, right, OK. Let's have a look, then. Oh. Yeah, they're just getting turned round in the middle of the pack, aren't they? Oh, Second turn bunching. Yeah. Do you know, but look at... Even the van got away with that, like... There was a lot of cars involved in that that weren't involved in it. It was just people yeah. trying to get away. Nathan, that's two luckiest going through, isn't it? Because he's been on the straight. He's had two big luckiest. <laughs> Did he hit the barrier on the exit of Clearways? He, he nudged the touched, inside wall. It. I said, we, we were all right. What happened? He said, run out of talent. <laughs> 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 run out of talent, geezer. Well, they'll be mad for it now, and at least they've got some laps to, uh, to have a go at because they... They do love uh, a good old race around Brandy. It's perfect circuit for it, actually, this, isn't it? The it legends. is. It's kind of been their home over the last few years. Uh, they, um, I think the first Legends race was here back in the day. Mallory Park was a popular venue for many a year for the for the Legends cars. And Scott's got the lights out on the safety car, so we're getting ready to go for the restart. So uh, uh, thanks to the organisers for, for clearing and getting this underway. I know mm. the Legends drivers and fans will be appreciative of that. So well done to everyone, the uh, BARC, for getting that sorted out. And there is James Newby. He's getting loads of time here. He's going to be very pleased. He's, uh, I know he's been working hard to raise money for 
the charity that he supports and uh, I was chatting to him about maybe doing something over the close season with him and uh, he is getting ready to I don't think he's been in this situation before certainly not single file he's got Lenny Woodcock the stunt man behind him mm. Lenny um, by his own admission is a, a driver who is he's still building his experience in, in Legends cars shares the car with his son Dylan who's not here this weekend I think he's away filming watch the lights though on the gantry towards the top left they go out and we're racing Lenny goes for the <laughs> track around the outside meanwhile coming through on the inside run is Stephen Traherne the former champion Daniel Pooley follows through to second position in the multicoloured car the 32 machine up into P2 and James Newbury's glory uh, short-lived but he, he did well to get that move in the first place and Jamie Moylan is up into P3 perfect stuff from our onboard man Moylan has got the bit between his teeth but what a great restart that is a fantastic effort Jack well. Parker on the inside of Lenny Woodcock he will chase Nick Bridgman in blue immediately ahead of him but Parker by my reckoning already up into fifth place he had a, a low-ish score in the second race but he's still uh, I think uh, fourth on the day in points so far so if he wins this one to get 200 points could win the round again part of the championship leader as Pooley and Moylan chase the race leader yeah Pooley's looking quite handy as well isn't he so you've got some uh, decent peddlers right up the front and three and four abreast this is a great on board is this a change for the lead is it just going to be a bump drop oh he's gone for it he's gone for the lead is he he's oh, definitely got oh. one of them brilliant he's going to get the lead Side by side, oh, there you go, Moylan in white, can't quite do it, former champion Stephen Traherne there, gets the run, Moylan's up into P2, but Jack Parker's going for the burn up around the outside of the four car, Parker's going for it, he's going to hang on to it, he's going to get, is he going to get the lead, crosses up, Traherne gets across in front of him, Parker in P2, but will now, on the inside of Graham Hill Bend, claim the lead, Moylan will go through to second place on the inside of Traherne, it is Pooley next up, Connor Mills is coming through in 19, Tyler Reed there as well, Will Gibson's, uh, Andy, sorry, Andy Bird coming through in his black, white and green machine, but it is Jack Parker out front from Jamie Moylan and Stephen Traherne. Brilliant stuff from the top, guys, I really enjoyed that, no big contact, just fantastic side-by-side -side racing, and you really didn't know who was going to get the job done, this was brilliant stuff. Look at Moylan. So late, Moylan down the inside thinks, well, I've got one, I may as well have a go at another, but just gets that little bit of oversteer, can't do anything with it after that. And then Parker from absolutely <laughs> nowhere takes the lead in that number four. Fantastic. I remember when the legend started, there were some old boys here at Brown Sack saying they don't use the racing line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that went down. 30 well. years ago, but you know, they're still not doing it. But I tell you what, we've had value out of the camera this week, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Did you just see Moylan into the back of the leader, Parker? He hit him. Did he give him a one? So did he give him a Gibson, did he? <laughs> that bumper is harder working than the shirts on this button today. Or the button on this shirt. Sorry, got that one mixed up. Uh, Moylan all over the back of Park. He would love to get a win, but he's got Connor Mills right behind him, the reigning League Cup champion. And we've got Tyler Reid, Stephen Traherne getting back to grips with legends in the Masters category. James Newbury still running well. Here we go with Moylan again. Now last time, oh, 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 into the back. <laughs> it's more than a bump, isn't it? It's not oh. bump dropping, it's, it's, but it goes through. It's so a... Moylan's got the lead. Watch for Connor Mills now and Tyler Reid. Tyler Reid second in the standings. That's the red car. Moylan goes wide, here comes Parker, here comes Connor Mills round the outside. Mills is going to wind it up, Moylan's still got oh. the front position at the moment. Side by sec side for second place. Oh. Connor Mills wants to beat Parker here, they're great uh, friends off track, rivals on track, he's 19 cars got through, wow. through goes the field. I'm not even going to try and guess who's going to win on points, <laughs> it's impossible to work out. <laughs> that is unbelievable. This has been a brilliant race. And Will, Will Gibson, and behind him, I think that's uh, Robert Barrable, come through right from the back. Barrable in yellow and blue on pointing, <laughs> which the viewers can't see. But the white and green top car is Will Gibson. Those two were first and second wow. in the points for the first two races, started right at the back. Did you just see that? Barrable just went round the outside of Gibson and then down the inside of someone else. <laughs> Here change comes, for the lead, is it? Yeah, Connor Mills has a little look. Time where Parker's now back in fourth place, so it can all still change. Lap five of 11. So we've still got time for this to wind up and uh, have an enjoyable finish to this race. Mills tries the outside run again. He's done it a couple of times. Learned the outside lines on some uh, short oval racing off his dad, who was a Group A hot rod racer not far away from here at the now derelict Arena Essex years ago. So it's Mills second. Tyler Reed really arriving on the scene now. He's in red in third place. Lovely view of the cars going through 
Graham Hill Bend and it's Moylan, the Irishman up front. He's got some compatriots looking to join this group as well. They're pretty much there. The first of those is the yellow car of Robert Barrable, top point scorer on the day so far. Change for second. Read down the inside of Connor Mills. They'll be side by side through Clark Curve onto the Brabham Straight and Jack Parker waiting to pick up whoever is the quickest of the two. He's going to side with Reed. Look at the, that's it. We'll look at the red car now getting a big, big push. That's proper stuff. That is, that's big bump drafting. Look at that down the inside. Can he get it stopped? That was a superb move from Barrable. Did you see him snake there when he got on the brakes at the car? Oh. He broke away from it, but he got it round the corner. Oh. And in third place, out of the brakes again, Connor Mills back to the outside. <laughs> if I don't do it, I'll somehow have a go this time. And oh. he can't quite do it. Or is he? He's got the line, isn't he? Coming down into Great Mill Bend. Oh, this is amazing stuff. Connor Mills again in that 19, trying to get the job done. Look at Barrable again in the 18, the yellow and blue car. This, could, I'm going to say Barrable's going to win this. OK, well, we'll see. I'm not going to make a prediction at all because I've got uh, a few good friends in this group. And, uh, we've got Will Gibson at the back of the group who might still come into play. Lap six of 11, and it's Jamie Moylan out front, as he was yesterday in the first race of the day. The three of them, they'll work together here. They'll want to try and get away from Connor, but all of these three capable. We haven't seen Tyler Reid win a race yet. We haven't seen Jamie Moylan win a race in the UK yet. I think uh, Reid's won races on the short ovals when he raced Legends in a double campaign last year. So, always love a first-time winner. Let's see if we're going to get one here as Barrable goes to the outside. Dozen Mills, is he going to get second? Is he going to go around his, his teammate, his pop his teammate? What? Three wide as they come out of Druids. Barrable can't quite hang on in there to get through into the lead, but is he going to get into P2 here? Go on! On to, oh. on to Cooper straight, they go. Mills goes out wide. Daniel Pooley's still with them. Also with them is Will Gibson. I think Andy Bird is in the mix as well at the back. And it's still Moylan out front. Tyler Reid, take that. Bang, oh. on the back. But look round the outside. You've got Barrable. He's trying his move. That's on oh. Kahuna's. Go on, son. <laughs> he's going to get P3s. He's dropped back. And now look who's he's back out. in the mix. He's out of the toe, isn't he? Parker's gone back in front of him. Tyler Reid now will take up the chat. Look at this. Stop car him. after car after car. Worth waiting for the end of the day. Still a large crowd here enjoying and watching the legends racing here at Brands Hatch. Gibson goes to the outside. He's making to look progress. Really, any one of the cars going through shot could win it. Tyler Reed goes to the outside. Now, so many drivers have tried this. Mills now is going to be satisfied with the inside, but Reed, if he can hold on, they'll keep it clean. Connor Mills keeps it clean. Reed hangs on to second position. Now makes the move on the inside for Ooh. Moylan, who gets a good run into Graham Hill Bend and out of it, still in lead position. Oh, wow. Why can't Moylan just drop back? I want to see the onboard of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some people. I don't know. <laughs> can't please everybody. So, Moylan out front. Yeah, we will see clear track, but not. I think before long we're going to see someone else. And, you know, he's in that position now where you get you watch Nathan Anthony in the unique Savan going through. We're in that sort of situation where Moylan could get challenged and maybe, oh, the Connor Mills has a look on the grass. My word. And now look at Will Gibson. Gibson's right up with him. Barrable's coming back as well. And Barrable looks down the inside of Gibson, rides the curbs, keeps the car in the straight line. Gibson on the outside, Tyler Reed getting, is he getting hung out to dry here? Parker's timing this well too. Barrable, the back of the group, it is an absolute job to know who to pick for this, but your money's already on Barrable, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not looking great, Barable, is it? Barrable R as opposed to Barrable P, because oh, there are two of them in it. Exactly, but Robert, for me, in the 18, he was looking well feisty, but I've got to say now, Reed in that red car in P2 looks well fast. Yeah, he's gagging for that first win. He's tired of Reed. Connor Mills right behind him. Will Gibson settled in four, so Gibson at the moment, I think possibly in line to win the day. He was five points behind Barrable. Uh, Parker was 55 points behind Barrable coming into this race, trying to do the, the mass at the same time. Two laps to go. Here comes Reed. Reed's bump jumped oh. with Connor Mills. They work together. They get into one and two. He lets go. And it's Reed leading. Connor Mills in second. But here comes Boylan. Back down the inside. You got what you wanted. Gets a little bit sideways. He's down to third. He's going to change. going to be fourth in a minute because here comes Will Gibson. Keep your eyes to the left. There is Gibson in the Autos car. Oh. Going around the outside is he going to hang on to it Gibson has done this many times he has he's got through and got the run down into Graham Mill Bend here comes Jack Parker as well behind them oh wow and Barrable getting involved as well in the yellow and blue car this is brilliant this is this is what we want to see 
from the legends. This is excellent stuff, but bump drafting all the way into the corner. Oh. Gibson in the number one, skimming in the big squeeze. Great stuff. Yeah, Gibson, I, I apologise to Team Gibson if I've got the mass wrong. That's Paul Marcel out of the race, sadly, in the number three. Hopefully that's not going to bring out too early a red. We want this to go the distance. On to the last lap we go. We're on board with Moylan. He is back in what? Fourth position at the moment, but being swamped by Peter Barber and Jack Parker. It's Connor Mills versus Tyler Reed as they go into panic for the last time. Wow, proper stuff this then. So not many seconds left on the clock. He's going oh, for the lead again. This is one of the best Legends races I've ever seen. Absolutely stunning stuff. Who's it going to be? Well, here they come out of Druids, and it's Tyler Reed. Remember, this could be Tyler Reed's first win on the big circuit. We'll see whether that happens. Connor Mills, though, is well placed here to have a go and pass him, and he could well do it. He's got all that experience. So too is Gibson, so too is Barrable. Well, Gibson could duck out here. It could be a drag race to the line. Barrable's back up into fourth as well, but who's going to be last corner, Rich? Here they come, Barrable having a go from fourth. Connor Mills trying to work out if he could pass Tyler Reed. Tyler wants to bring the Lightning McReed number six car home and in first position. It's a drag to the flag as we've seen so often. Here, here comes Mills! Mills is having a go! But he got too squirrely! Side by side by side, Gibson! Gibson takes it! <laughs> on the line, Will Gibson! A perfectly timed run wow. and three wide across the line. Gibson! Reed, Bills, <laughs> Robert Barable in fourth. If you see a better race this year, oh, tell me about it. Tweet us. <laughs> OMG. That from Gibson was electric. He was sideways in fourth gear because he turned the steering so hard to get out of the toe. That was unreal. He come from nowhere. That's the way to wrap up a, a day's racing. Rightly, everybody on their feet. Well, most people on their feet. Wow, and fair play to the people who stayed behind for this. Look at this run to the flag, though. Look, watch it. I mean, he come from absolutely nowhere, that number one. And he knew he'd won <laughs> before he'd got across the line. 44 hundredths of a second. That's, that's, that's Adrian Gibson, that's Will's dad. That's amazing. Dad of, of Tim as well, who will be... Look at that. Tim always in our thoughts at Brands, as Will Aww. said in the Race 2 interview. And, you know, hats off to all of the drivers. Super Brilliant. stuff. What a great race.